Question of the day. Have you ever felt frustrated by the limitations of current language models? Maybe you've asked ChatGPT a question and it made up facts, or maybe you wanted to solve a math problem and it failed to do basic arithmetic. Well, the future of natural language processing just got a whole lot smarter with Meta's latest AI development. Welcome to Pathfinder, where we share and break down the latest news and insights in the world of AI and future tech. In this edition of AI News, we're discussing Toolformer, a new AI language model developed by Meta AI, created to address the paradox that while language models exhibit remarkable abilities to solve new tasks from just a few examples, they continue to struggle with basic tasks, such as math, factual lookup, or widespread utility. With Toolformer, imagine having an AI assistant that can use external tools to help you with any task. And the best part? It primarily teaches itself how and when to use these tools. For example, if you ask Toolformer to perform a calculation, it can access a calculator tool to give you the answer. Or if you need to find information on a specific topic, Toolformer can use a search engine to find relevant results. It can even use a language translator to help you understand content in another language and manage your schedule via a calendar app. But how does Toolformer decide which tools to use and when to use them? Toolformer accesses tools via API calls. Like all language models, Toolformer's response is generated by predicting the highest probable next word in a sequence of text. And it's learned to predict each text-based API call as if it were just another form of text. When you give Toolformer a text prompt or ask it a question, it uses its knowledge and experience to determine the best tool to use for the job by predicting which text-based API call it needs to make, and then inserting the call when necessary to generate a response based on your input. In English, Toolformer can understand what you're asking for and then figure out the best way to provide an answer or perform a task using the right tool or software program. And it can do all of this nearly autonomously, making it a powerful tool for augmenting human intelligence and improving our ability to perform a wide range of tasks. I can hear the gears in your brain turning as you begin to wrap your head around the significance of this new AI model. After all, can't ChatGPT perform a wide variety of tasks and Bing's chatbot, Sydney, is capable of searching the web to generate answers. How is this all that different? So let's reiterate. Traditional language models are limited to their own internal knowledge and training data, which means they can often struggle with basic tasks that fall outside of their core competency of text generation. While also being a language model, Toolformer has the unique capability to use external tools via APIs to access a wide range of information and functionality beyond what is contained within its own training data and it has the ability to teach itself when to use these tools and how to use them effectively. For example, if you ask ChatGPT to book a flight for you, it can't do that on its own, but Toolformer can call the appropriate API to use a travel app to access flight information and booking tools, and then provide you with a booking confirmation. Similarly, if you ask Bing Sydney a complex question that requires knowledge beyond what is available on the web, it might not be able to provide an accurate answer. But Toolformer can use a combination of search engines, fact-checking tools, and other external resources to generate a more comprehensive and accurate response. Toolformer's ability to learn and use tools to accomplish tasks would make it the ultimate AI assistant, more versatile, powerful, and accurate than other language models that are limited to their own internal knowledge and training data. And this is what makes the research behind Toolformer so intriguing, because the model demonstrates that bigger isn't always better. Toolformer, based on a pre-trained GPT-J model with 6.7 billion parameters, managed to outperform GPT-3 and its massive 175 billion parameters of training data on various tool-using tasks. The culmination of Meta AI's research is that Toolformer achieves substantially improved zero-shot performance across a variety of downstream tasks, often competitive with much larger models, without sacrificing its core language modeling abilities. Zero-shot performance refers to the ability of a model to perform well on tasks that it has not been explicitly trained on. In other words, if a model is trained to perform task A, but is able to perform task B, which it has not been trained on, with good accuracy, that would be considered a good zero-shot performance. Downstream tasks refers to specific tasks that the model is designed to perform, such as language translation or question answering. The benefit of Toolformer is that it is able to still generate natural-sounding responses to user input, while also incorporating the results of external tools, thus allowing it to perform more complex tasks. 
This is significant because it means that Toolformer can be used for a wide range of natural language processing tasks, and it can perform well even on tasks that it has not been specifically trained on. This can save time and resources and make the model more effective in real-world scenarios. But the model isn't without its own limitations, such as the inability to use tools sequentially, which limits its application scenarios. Additionally, it cannot use tools interactively or take into account the computational cost of an API call. The model is also sensitive to the phrasing of a query, so it can be inefficient to process large amounts of data. All in all, Toolformer's ability to use external tools represents a significant breakthrough in the field of natural language processing and will help to solve some of the fundamental failings of large language models, like GPT-3. That's it for this edition of AI News here on Pathfinder. I hope you enjoyed this expedition into the vast world of AI. And remember, even if AI may potentially one day take our jobs, there's one thing it'll never take. Your ability to smash that like button and hit subscribe. So make sure to do both now because in return, we'll keep bringing you regular updates on AI news and insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.